everyone and happy Friday and welcome to another Adobe Live here in the UK where you'll find us every weekday <laughs> between 12 and 1 and today is a super special day. It's a power hour, don't you know, don't you know? And it's with me and my very, very good friend, Julia Seeger. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? It's awesome. I was so looking forward to this. Yay. It's so good. <laughs> So, so good. So we're here. Uh, we're going to be doing some crazy stuff. What we're mm -hmm. going to do today is, uh, it's pointless me asking, Julia, because I know what we're going to do today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to have a crack at making some stickers for Telegram. So we're going to talk you through uh, that process. And in fact, we're actually going to go and talk you through the process for creating animator stickers for Telegram. And in case you don't know what Telegram is, it's a messaging app very much like WhatsApp, but without the evil nefarious stuff going on in the background. <laughs> <That's my laughs> <own opinion. laughs> I agree. <laughs> Not about the stream. So for those of you that have never met my amazing friend, Julia, how would you like to intro yourself, amazing friend, Julia? Oh, I'm your amazing friend. And you're my amazing friend. We've met in <laughs> India, together. I think, one year ago. Was it one year ago? Last year in June? Yeah. Uh, we met in New Delhi, Tony and 18 I. months. Fantastic. So anniversary. We did. We did. <laughs> it is. And we, we speak pretty much every day. Yeah. Uh, we are in touch every day due, uh, to Telegram. We are. That's why it's we really are. important for us to have our own sticker pack. We do need our own <laughs> sticker pack. We yeah. Do. And I'm an illustrator and a graphic designer and I'm also an artist. So I know how to draw. You and do. my and my uh, thing today or this week was to draw Tony because we want Tony stickers in our sticker pack. <laughs> what what sticker pack could, could not have me in it? That's that's <laughs> my, uh, my, <laughs> my children are like, kind of very very interested in why anybody would want to draw me. <laughs> it was a hell of a lot of fun, actually, to be honest. I, I, you know, I've seen some of the sketches. I mean, Julia's illustrations and, and drawings, by the way, are, are so, so beautiful. Julia is so talented. Um, you, if you get a chance, you should check. Now, is the Z Engine site still running? Is that which is no. your site now? I'm on Behance, and it's just Julia Tiger. That's it. So that Z I E G E R. Me? Yeah. I remember asking you actually in Delhi, how do you spell that? And you said in the usual way. I thought oh. <laughs> the way you say it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you're going to be doing all of the hard work, really. You're going to be doing all of the hard graph, <laughs> doing the drawing. I don't agree. I think animation is pretty hard too. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, the way we're doing it, I think that it, it might be slightly more challenging than some things are, but it's good for people to get an experience of how real world things work so i suppose really i should hand it over to you and okay. you should get started and i'll just throw in random comments as we yeah, go just say random things as i'm drawing okay exactly so i started i actually started in my sketchbook it's over here is this little tiny sketchbook and i was sitting in my bed and i was watching live streams where tony was the host so i could look at his features and his face to see what the most important features are so people would recognize him if i make a sticker out of him and when i was done with thinking about Tony all day, I thought it's definitely his moustache, which, which is not as long an, anymore. It used to no, be bigger. It's regrowing now. It's regrowing now yeah. uh, because it's getting cold outside. Yes. You need your whiskers, right? I do. So right. You need that. And I also had the beard. I was thinking about he has very like um, expressive eyebrows and eyes and also his the proportion of his face is really important so you would recognize him and his neck yeah so that's all you're going to see is actually going to be his face and a bit of his upper body so yeah that's already the sketch and as you can see i have here under the export is a way to watch a time lapse so you can actually see my process of my shitty drawing i push play and there we go i just started randomly i was thinking about that's the most important thing, actually. We're going to do a sticker pack which shows a nice and a naughty Tony. That's why we're growing, having our hats today. So I thought about the naughty Tony could be like um, one of those photos that people take of you or police takes of you when they caught you doing a criminal something, you know? Yeah. When they want to put you into prison. Building a massive laser. Exactly, like that. Trying to get the world uh, power or something like that. Yep. Take over the world. So I thought, 
A very, another very important feature is that Tony is always wearing hats. So there's almost no stream, I believe, where you're not wearing a funny hat. So it's definitely cool to put you into a costume. And I thought about making you a pilot and a sign that says that you are on air since you're streaming almost every day. So as you can see here, I'm trying to find a nice expression that shows that you are kind of evil, naughty and did something wrong. And yeah, you can already see I try different eyes, different expressions. It's, it's kind of funny to watch, I think. And when I was happy with what I got, I just you know I nailed the outlines, made it strict and said, this is really where I'm going because I want this to be neat and clean when I take it into Illustrator on your iPad. So I know which line is going where and I don't want to you know, mess around and see, make decisions in, in Illustrator, which I should already be making here in Fresco. Mm -hmm. And here comes the nice one, um, naughty, um, the nice uh, sk um, sticker of Tony will be a nun and a very important uh, thing that's coming in later. Is I've always wanted to be a nun. I know. Yeah. You've been so, you had so many jobs, but you've never been a nun. So I think just, that's true. yeah, this is just for you also to be happy. <laughs> the sticker. And there comes a little puppet uh, soon. There it comes. Yeah, here it is. Have it around. <laughs> here it is my there famous. Is. I'm in my first ever meeting with Tony Puppet. <laughs> this is the one when I actually have meetings with people. I keep a straight face and talk just as I am to you now, and have this thing going backwards and forwards, and then I have it come up and do this because I want to see how they react <laughs> when I do it. If they freak out, there's no chance we're going to work together. If they start laughing, we've got a heck of a we'll, chance. We will be best together, friends. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's in there and um, right here I was already thinking about how uh, Tony could animate some things in the sticker. So I think in the nice one it could be the hearts, the moustache and of course the puppet moving its eye like you do when you're playing with it. And on the on-air sticker maybe the propeller on his head or uh, the on-air sign on the sign could be blinking, something like that. Easy things, maybe the, the lashes um, of the head, something like that. Yep. So let's get over to Illustrator. Here it is. I already have a file and on top here is my sketch so I can zoom in and out. There it is. And what I did was now that I have a really neat clean sketch, I just have to draw the outlines for this whole thing. So I started with the body and I just use my pen tool since I'm just drawing. I'm not using the um, pen. What's, what's the other tool? What's the name of the other tool in English? The, not the pen tool? The blob, oh, the pen tool, yeah. So, or the curvature oh, the, pen tool. I'm using the pencil tool, not the pen tool. Pencil tool, yeah. All right. That's yeah, I'm using the only other one that's nested with that is the blob brush. All right. But not on the iPad, right? Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. You're right. Okay, yeah. cool. It so was I'm only added a little while ago. So that's why brush. I didn't notice. So. There you go. <laughs> Do you use any of the smoothing options when you're working with it? Yes, I have I have smoothing on eight, as you can see. Since that's, I really that's what I have. I have mine on yeah, eight. Yeah, we have the same smoothing option. Oh, we're smoothing we're best friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to, going to smooth in your neck right here, like there this. We are. Shall I tell you what else is being naughty today? Because there is actually something else being naughty today. What is it? Behance is being naughty. Yeah, I know. We don't have a chat today. We don't have is, a chat. I can't see any chat. It's a massive bummer. I oh, know. It's just the two of us, actually. We're just, it's, actually, it's just a private stream. We're drawing together. It is. It's just like <laughs> us when we, <laughs> when we have a Friday chat. And... Like, our, like our art club. Yeah, and we have the YouTube chat. Um, that's right. We could do that, actually. Yes. Let's go to YouTube and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and do that while you're drawing just for a minute. Yeah. So, as you can see, I'm just trying to follow my sketch. I'm not. 100% in the sketch. I'm trying to get this one part of the upper body a bit higher. And what I'm going to do now is take these both shapes, these two shapes, and go over to my shape builder tool. And I'm just going to wait a second. It's important that they are selected. Yay. Shape builder. And I just remove this part. And since all this is going into this little circle that I have in the background here, I need to clip that to the circle. So I'm using my path and my background, use the shape builder again and remove that piece here. So now it's fitting into the circle. So um, what I'm trying to do is just use this um, keep it grayscale right now because I don't want to worry about color when I'm doing the outlines. I'm just worrying about shape right now, trying to make it look as clear as possible so i make this a bit brighter since this is the rope of the nun 
I can um, sh- give a shout out actually while you're just doing a little bit of that yeah. if you like to some of the people because we've got them here. Our regulars awesome. have made it across. Yay, awesome. Fantastic. So we've got Oliver, we've got uh, Angus, we've got uh, Sandrine. Hey we've Sandrine. Sean, Sean watch, you're probably familiar with Sean Kosa yes. from the German stream. Good He's watching time. the German stream almost every day, yeah. yeah. Caroline's here. He is. Quite a lot of people do, don't they? Yeah. We've got a really, really hardcore, fantastic. I think here. maybe John. Sean. Sean is maybe the only English-speaking person who looks to Germans, watches the German streams. But we have oh, what a lot about of Andreas? Germans. Andreas Holler. Andreas well, he's Holler German in the UK stream, so that's the other way around. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True. All right. Tony can't navigate without the whiskers. They're like bat radar. <laughs> I, I did notice, by the way, that in one of your preliminary sketches of me. Yes. You actually did my tilde face moustache when one side of my moustache <laughs> decides to just flip and go down that way and there's nothing I can do. Right, the naughty, the naughty piece of like Maybe it's just, you know, this. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, so sometimes my when my moustache is long and tweaked, one side of it, just on occasion for no reason whatsoever, <laughs> I can figure... Even though I wax it back into shape, when it when it behaves like this, it sometimes goes, nope, I'm pointing that way this time. <laughs> so I've got maybe what we call build give, a face. Maybe it's just trying to tell you something, it push you in the is. right direction, you know. I did try leaving you, it for a do while. Do you know how people say listen to your heart? Maybe you just should listen to your moustache. Listen to your moustache. I'm going to get a t-shirt <laughs> with that one. <laughs> Actually, when we were talking about beards, this is what um, Mrs. Harmer calls the Paris beard, where it got like <laughs> a bit too much. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like it though. Uh, and Oliver's just said, Oliver's picked up on, is that an earlier version of Tony as a nun? <laughs> <laughs> so so I just painted, uh, I just painted your beard in and I'm trying to simplify the path. So I go over here on path and I say it's simplify. So I have less points now. And I'm just trying to hide my sketch for a second and see if it's really nice or if it's bumpy anywhere. And I think this part over here, this is not really a curve. So I go down in this context menu, just push, push this little button. You can see that at the bottom of my shape, there's this little context menu. I can zoom in there, there. Yeah. And there's the second icon makes it a round path. And I also do it with this one. And now there are no corners. It's all nice and smooth like your beard should be. Line that there. A smooth beard. There. Okay. So if I take a look at my sketch with your beard here, you have these nice dark um, gravy shape. stains. Stains <laughs> here on the left and right side of your mouth, and I also put them in here. So I'm just drawing them with the pencil tool, like. You that. remember Henry? From Henry. From India, Hendri- one of our one of our people there, Henry. Oh, we are actually back on behalf. Oh yeah, now, cool. Right? Very good. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, Henry, who was with us with the glasses um, from London. Yes, Henry. He I know. remarked on my my Razal Ghoul uh, bits here. Say my, again. My wife thinks I've actually got killer whale DNA. It, it was going dark <laughs> just there in sort of a set. It's gone now, but there used to be a dark sort of semicircle there and then these dark streaks. And she said, Do you I have think, killer whales in your ancestors somewhere? Killer whales? Probably. I mean, my ancestry does... does I have got some Svalbardian in uh, my ancestry. Wow. I mean, you know, people say we all came from the sea, so maybe there's something to it. <laughs> so as you can see again i'm just using the shape of the tool to get crop this these little stains into tony's beard here and the next thing i'm going to do is just draw the lines in like these little shape lines here like that and they have a fill right now which i don't like so i select all of them with my little button here that i press and i remove the fill and I also go to the properties panel and give them a round end like that. And now I also have to crop these. So I select all of them, select my ground shape for the ba- uh, beard, go back to my shape builder. And now I just push again. again. I just push as I just use the tip of my pen to, um, how do you say, click 
click on the little pieces yeah. that are standing there like that. Just That's trim it. away. You trim them away. Exactly. Trim them away. So. That's just one on the left. Ah, you got it. You brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you are so the goods. <laughs> So that's that. I'm Sister Dolores with a beard, apparently. <laughs> Free something, Willy! <laughs> something else I want to do is... Free Tony. We could, that could be another sticker. Maybe we could do a whole set. I would like to do you with a flugelhorn and one shows you as a ninja. And Free Sensei Willy. one. Sensei one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So Fantastic. Now. They're having a blast in the chat, by the way. Yeah, that's great. So as you can see, when I'm drawing and I'm holding still, you can see that Illustrator creates these little points for me. So as long as I'm going smooth, it's just lines. It's all corner, um, rounded corners. But as soon as I stop, it makes a corner out, out of a point and I have a little yeah, I have a corner in there. Simple as that. Oh, so I've got a question from Caroline. Yes. Where did you learn your digital drawing skills? Ooh, where? In many places, I think. I'm still learning. How do you feel ah, about that? I've, I've, I can't I've, still learning. All this I think I will never stop, actually. Mm. It's changing all the time. Yeah, but I think the most important thing about digital drawing is to get a, is a, is to get a graphic tablet. Yeah. That's the most important thing. And it can be an iPad, but it can also be like a Wacom tablet or something like that and just yeah. start drawing. Photoshop, Illustrator, whatever you want. And yeah, I think get that it's direct your, connection. Yeah, that's yeah. important. And and I think more important than learning digital drawing is to learn drawing. It's, it's not just the, the tablet won't help you. It's just another device. So you actually have to be able to draw so you can uh, bring it to another medium. That's actually, I guess, uh, the most important part. Or every day. That's the thing. Yes. A friend of mine, yeah. Julian. Like it. Like it. It's important. Yeah. Yes, and enjoy it and love it. Yeah, and yeah. look at things. Observe and look yeah. and record. Have fun with it. A friend it. of mine, Julian, who's a fairly well-known photographer, uh, well, he's a very well-known landscape photographer, he he gets people who are, when he speaks at different events, he gets people who say to him all the time, oh, you're such a good photographer. Yeah. You must have really What's your great camera? camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great camera. And uh, and uh, how do I how do I take better pictures? And he gives them the same answer. He says, no matter what camera you use, just use it every day and be critical about what you do. And exactly. You know, constructively critical, of course. Don't just go, oh no, this is rubbish and throw it away. We all make rubbish. I make rubbish. That's every part day. of it. Don't yeah. yeah, don't be hard on yourself. Always be kind to yourself. I think that's even more important. Be curious mm. and be kind to yourself. That's the best recipe for getting better at anything. And you got me into meditation as well, if you remember. I didn't meditate I before I knew you. We're Headspace buddies. We are Headspace buddies. Although I've got to be honest, I switched to Calm a little while ago. I use them both. Yeah. Yeah. I like Calm. I like Calm too. I like the sleep, sleep stories. Yes. So, all right, so I have your moustache on the left and on the right, and I also prepared something. So, here's your face. My face? Your face. Here's your rope. In here. your face. There's my face. Here's your head. Here's my nose. Ooh. Here's your nosey. I'm I so like your nose. I'm going to punch me in that one. <laughs> it's very characteristic. It has this little, it messes with the ski curve. Set. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So, that's, it's easy to draw someone who has really nice, interesting, unique features. So, it was easy, actually. So here come your eyes, looking very kind. There, 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 there. So many paths, as you can see. And I also add a little hearts. There. And of course, puppet. It was a little bit more work, but there is this little thing that shouldn't be in there. Anyways, here we go. That's all I did for this sticker. And I already prepared the naughty one, so I can show you how I handle color. So I have 10 more minutes, which is awesome. And then I hand it over yes. to you so you can show how you're going to animate that whole thing. So here's my sketch. And here is everything I already did. It's all done in Illustrator on the iPad, just a pencil tool. And also some fonts in here. And I think that's it. So yeah, that's the naughty version of Tony. And I already added some color swatches here. So the first thing I want to do is go into... I love that I'm now six foot two in this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. 
I think you're bigger when you're naughty. <laughs> <laughs> so there is my idea. I have already prepared some a gradient here that's going in my background. Then I have your body. It's right there. So I have your t-shirt. It's going to be that dark color here. I feel like I should switch hats because of what you're drawing. Yes. I'm, just, I'm going to switch hats. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly the hat that I had in mind. Yep. Yep. That's it. There we are. Perfect. Yes. And somewhere on here, if I just go ahead, I'm just borrowing stuff from my phone. I'm also looking at the chat. Emma's here. Hey, Emma. Hello, Emma. Emma okay, cool. in the snow, in the schnee. In the schnee. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just trying to find very quickly uh, because somewhere on here while you're drawing. That's what I, oh, and Sophia's here as well. Hi, Sophia. Hey, Sophia. Oh, I good just, to see you here. Awesome. We, were just, we were just streaming an hour ago on the German stream, so it's cool that you're here. Yes. <laughs> somewhere here so right now i'm just filling all my shapes with the colors that i already prepared where is the face so as you can see it's really important when you do an illustration like that not to just it, may, it depends a bit on the style you can have whatever you like but in this particular case i would like to have a, a bit more of a realistic feel and a bit more depth so i'm trying to give everything not just as just a solid color but a gradient and especially on the face it can be helpful because we have different um color areas in our face if you're if you're painting someone you will see if it's oil or digital or whatever and you use a lot of colors the, the yeah. face is not just one color we have different areas sometimes people are more red here more pale around the mouth it can vary from culture mm -hmm. to, to culture and also from human to human so it's good to have a gradient in there it makes it look more realistic and less flat so that's my tip and I have the eyes right here, which are okay. Where are my ears? Yeah. My ears. <laughs> Emma said, back to the Tony I know. <laughs> oh dear. So I show you the beard now. I think the beard is so important. It's an essential piece in this sticker. And I have this gradient here. So as you can oh. see, the moment I apply this gradient, it gets already more like a 3D look. It's really important. So it's going to be brighter on the top, darker on the bottom. And I also, my stains are gone, which is for key. I just draw them. There's my sketch there, like this. Give it a fill color. I did, um, so I did, a, there's a thing in the UK called the ACPME. It's the Association of Creative and Print Managers in Education. And I've spoken at a few of their conferences and I did their first ever virtual conference this week. And somebody put on Twitter about me knowing how to rock a beard. Wow, so that's I nice. Said, this was very flattering. Uh, and I, th I said, I think I'm going to make my beard and copies of my beard available on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually like to have it as a Christmas ornament on my tree. What, with my beard on? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can make that happen for you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool, right? Yeah. So I have I painted these stains in now they are shapes. And I'm, what I'm going to do is just lower the opacity. So I could go over here in my properties panel and lower the opacity here on this uh, bar. Or I just go into this context menu. The first icon is the same um, feature. So I just pull there. A little less, a little less. So, but this also applies to the stroke. So... I could just choose a different, a brighter color like that. Okay. So, I have your mouth here, which should be more like that, brighter. The tongue there. You look really like... What's a good expression for that? What's a good name for this expression on your face? This expression, uh, confused, befuddled. Confused, befuddled. befuddled. That's a good word. Befuddled is a great word. Yeah. I try to make you look befuddled. Befuddled. Well, you've made a very good job of making me look befuddled. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing I want to show you is how to get the um, shadows in there. It's really yeah. easy. The way I do it is really easy. So I just go in, I decide 
lights coming from the top in this piece. It's, it's just a decision. You can put it wherever you want, but you have to be consistent. So the light has to be consistent during the picture. You can just paint um, the shadow of the beard somewhere and the shadow on the shirt somewhere else. It should be consistent. So it looks realistic and convincing. So I decided it comes from top. So I'm going to put a little shadow. Don't mind the color right now. It doesn't matter. Sandrine says the expression is what? 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 what, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I remove the stroke color, I just give it a black fill and then again I'm going to use my Pathfinder Shape Builder tool, remove that and now I'm lowering Another the opacity. Hat this is really warm. <laughs> yeah, my hat's warm too. Like that. So let's go for this one. There we go. <sighs> oh nice! I should change personalities too, wait a second. You could. You can go to your, your personality from the German stream this morning. That's my favourite one. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to decide if I'm naughty or nice. Today I'm both. So good. So here's another shadow on the other side, like that. Boop. Select. Shape Builder, you can see how quick that is. Actually, I would like to put, I would like if the Illustrator team put the Shape Builder outside of the, um, the combined shape. Oh yeah, 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 as an because, actual tool. Yes, because every time I, I click there, this window opens, then the combinations render in, and I just want to click that one button so that it would actually yeah. be nice if there's somewhere yeah. else. I mean, it's really nice that, that that they have thought about rendering that actual part. So you yeah, can, that's great. Yeah, it's a great feature. Idea, I love but that. yeah, the shape builder should be removed from that, I think, and put into the into the toolbar on the side. And it, I mean, there, there'll be some sort of thinking around that. Maybe, maybe in so much as uh, possibly something like because like Fresco is now on the phone, right? So they've had to be kind of erudite with. Uh, with uh, efficient rather with the uh, yes. with how they do the tool set so it renders on a phone so who knows who knows but, there's always yeah, a i reason. agree that would be good outside yeah it makes you so much quicker so last thing i want to do is your mustache also gets a gradient from the bottom to the top and same thing here i just wanna we're getting put... people from all over the world today you know it's awesome We've got someone from Islamabad. So, uh, we've also got India. Of course, as usual, we've got uh, New Zealand. We've got Steve. Kiora Steve. Uh, there we are. So here's a funny thing, maybe. I don't know if you saw that. If I create a shape and it already has a gradient, I would like to switch the fill color and the uh, stroke color. I can't do that because Illustrator on the iPad right now doesn't support gradients on strokes. So I can push that little switch between the two colors. I can't do that. But I, what I also can do is to push that little uh, um, circle with the red line in it that says no filling. I think that's a bug right now. I can push it as often as I want, nothing happens. I have to say, I would like to have this a solid color. Then I can say no filling and now I can switch. That's just the way it is right now. We are patient. We are. It's all good. Alles very good. Alles good. <laughs> so you can see how this three-dimensionality comes in here and i think i also have a little shadow on the nose there i also have a little sh uh, shadow on the eyes you can see there it creates more depth in the illustration so now the other side like that and again, every time I stop, Illustrator creates a corner for me. Bam. I like drawing with it now. I didn't so much in the early days, if you remember when it was first shown to us, I wasn't too keen on the drawing, but the drawing now is really good. I started to really enjoy it. Yeah. And I did so many things with it, as you can remember. I did the book club in Adobe Live Germany for the last four weeks. Star I, did Trek. Every, I did everything on the iPad. It's, it's really nice. So cool. Okay, uh, it's it's 30. I would hand it over to you. So this is how it would look like. Uh, wait a second. I can show you actually my, la 
final color scheme. So this is what my stickers would look like. Naughty and nice, Tony. So these very files good. I sent to you and now you take it away, Tony. I will, thank you very much. So we're just gonna swap over. So I will just share up my screen. Bear with me a second. There we go. And now I can see what's going on in the chat. Um, really, so you can. Hello. You can. So, uh, like we said, I've got uh, I've got a slightly earlier version here of a couple of things. <laughs> Have we got yeah. audio still? Oh, you just dropped from the audio for a second. Uh, I'm sorry, it was my mistake. I I opened a stream and <laughs> am I back? Can you hear me? Yeah, you're back. I can hear you. Yes, yes. yes. All good. Right. So. What I am going to do as well, for some reason, I've lost a particular window here, but I'm not too worried. So I can hear you. I Hello, Sophia. Current time, see you. So I'm just going to try and just change that one second. There we go. You're back. I'm going to move you onto this screen. So Hello, Tony. Hello. <laughs> so, right. So I've got an earlier version of these here. Now, Telegram stickers, if you're just doing them as a piece of flat artwork, then you could pretty much go with something like this with very little uh, change. However, animation, the rules change just a little bit. And so some things work, some things don't. And also there's a couple of rendering things with gradients or whatever with Illustrator on the iPad at the moment that are behaving in an odd kind of way. But hopefully we can get around that. But let's have a look at what we've got here in the file that you sent me uh, from directly from Illustrator Draw. So nice cloud document there that we had to start off with and bought down and saved out as an AI file. So the first thing I would do uh, with this is I would go to the layers and examine the layers. And you've done a brilliant job of segmenting. Thank you. I tried artwork. my best. I know the but pain you've of animation. Done brilliantly. In fact, you've done over brilliantly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, it's so, so good. Uh, because that's the thing. If you're handing over something for animation, you re animators need access to all of the different parts, right? And then they can determine what's going to be animated from there and then they, they can work with it. And it's much easier to do it that way than it is the other way around to lift things out of an illustration and then yes. perhaps have to fill in gaps behind it. And you you can tell even from the way you started out drawing and you carried on the neck right into the fullness of the back of the head, which is where it actually would end, of course, but you carried that on. So it means it makes, if I wanted to make, the head jump mm. from side to side, for example. Right. You've made that a lot easier. Uh, for Give it some flesh, so there's no gap between them. Yeah, no, all brilliant. You've also uh, made a great job here of separating out the left and right half of the moustache. So if I wanted to do something with naughty moustache, uh, <laughs> I could go ahead and do that. But I think I am going to join those together. both sides. But first of all, I'm going to go ahead and make some layers visible. Just and John, John is asking, what is the pipe for? And Oliver already said, yeah, it's Tony's puppet. So can you yeah, show it so again? I, 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 just so you know, I, I have a range of puppets. Normally I have a couple or so handy at my desk, such as this, this one. This is the, um, what chance is there of getting that by Friday, Tony? <laughs> 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 or will the Illustrator team put the shape builder into the actual tool menu on Illustrator on the iPad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that, so that might happen. We and have that say in two in, in German. Also got a crystal ball um, with a little stand. So can you can predict say, can my we weekend? Get that Friday, and I can say the mists are clearing and all of that stuff, and say no. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, this is one of my favourite meeting puppets, as I described earlier. Uh, I built it from. Uh, toilet rolls. So there it is. It's toilet rolls. And this is my little wire, op wire operate here, maybe florist wire. And this is a florist ball just there. Does it have a name, actually? Sorry? Does it have a name? No, I've never named it. We should name it. We should ask the chat. <laughs> Pipey. <laughs> it's Pipey. But yeah, so if I'm in a meeting, as I said earlier, I will just carry on talking and then just raise this thing up and sometimes make it go backwards and forwards or come up and go like that while I'm actually talking and see how the other person reacts. So that's what the pipe is. You know what would be really funny if it goes behind, uh, behind your bag and you wouldn't even notice? That takes a bit of rigging though. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's anyway, Jesus, so, it says, my Lord, good to see you. And Cloudy is also there. They also say, good to see you, Tony. Fantastic. Now I'm going to be told, I'm going to be calling Jesus this afternoon because I want a word with you, my Lord. Ooh. And also you, my Lord. I'm a Lord. This is amazing. We've got- You made four, me a Lord. Yeah. 
That's the Lord. Lord thing. Julia. Yeah. And your mum, Lord Julia. My Jeanette. mom's a Lord. Yep. Yeah. Jesus is a Lord. Lord titles I'm for Christmas Lord. for everyone. Do you know, I would love that. I would love that if we all became lords because that would stop the nonsense. Because then nobody is a lord and I like that yeah. idea. Yeah, everybody or no one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me just go through what I've got here. So you can see that I've got this uh, small grey background here. So I'm going to actually remove that because that's going to hinder uh, my operation. Something else I also do uh, when I'm working on something like this for a motion project is I actually show the transparency grid, shift command D, D uh, or shift control D uh, on Windows. And that shows you the transparency grid. That gives you a very quick idea uh, of how things are going. Now, That's just cool. for a moment, before I go any further with the actual artwork, the first thing I'd need to correct here <laughs> would be the, uh, that Julia's writing up the naughty list, by the way. Command control, con command control what? Shift Command D or Shift Control D for the show the show and hide the transparency grid from there. You could also do that with the artboard, but it's just H. So Shift Command H to mm. turn on and off the artboard if you don't want to see the artboard boundary. But that's kind of useful. No idea. Now what I do need to do here is uh, I need to change the artboard size. Telegram stickers have to be 512 by 512 in dimension, so you've got to keep it to within those dimensions, uh, and it's makes it easier on yourself if you actually do that um, at this particular stage. So shift O to get the artboard tool. I'm then going to come across to my artboard here and I'm going to change this to 512 and then tab through and 512 like so. Okay, good. So that's really good. I could name it as well if I want to. So let's call this one uh, Nice Tony. They're like that very rare sighting of the nice Tony. Someone's finally using the artboard of the property panel. That's great, Tony. Uh, it's the, it's, it's, the properties panel is really good. It's powerful. I, I use it. I still use the control strip, though, in conjunction with it. So mm -hmm. but there you go. Hey, ho. Uh, so what I'm going to do f before I do any resizing. So normally I grab something like this. I then quickly go to the transform panel and make sure that I've got scale strokes and effects turned on here. So, so I don't cool. ruin your beautiful artwork. So let's bring this on to the artboard here like so. I can zoom in at this particular point. I'm gonna tap S for the scale tool and hit return because I kind of like to do this by the numbers. And then I'm just gonna dial this down. I'm just hitting the down arrow on my nice. key just here for the minute. Okay, so bringing that in like so, that's comfortably in that region, 77%, perfect. Just bring that down a bit. Uh, I'm also going to just trim this bit of the pipe off just there. Pipey. Peter Pipey. Have we yeah, got we that? Talked, yeah, we talked about that before the that? stream, actually. Someone said you should call it Dolores. I like Dolores, so. Dolores is good. I've only ever known two people called Dolores. Um, yes, we'll call it Dolores. So there you are. Hi, Dolores. Hello, Dolores. <laughs> Super good. Right, so I'm going to get my own shape builder tool just here, and I'm just going to swipe away this bit down at the bottom, Yay. so holding down the option key just to trim that away. Of course, I've created a gazillion mm -hmm. uh, different points just down there. but uh, And this is where the sort of full the full arsenal of what I use in Illustrator comes in really, really handy. So if I, I did actually have a path like that, uh, in fact, even across a whole document, I use uh, Vector First Aid here from Astute Graphics to change the number of points. You can see it removed 241 points. Technically, only needs three to draw a circle perfectly. <laughs> so, you know, that was a slight overspend on the points. Right. So once I've done that, uh, and again, I'm going to show my transparency grid here. OK, because I like to see it while I'm working. John is asking, why did all these points get created on the circle when you did that shape builder? It, it, do you know, it's, I've asked that question before of the team and it, 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 it de depends on so many different things as to how it does it. Funny yeah. is it doesn't happen Basically, on the it's the iPad. complexity of the underlying objects that, yes. create, that created all of those different points. Because Illustrator is just trying to play safe and make sure that visually you've got exactly the same result. And it's trying to do it, you know, in a cost efficient way. And by that, I don't mean money, of course. I mean in terms of time and processing and all of that stuff. So, so. John is asking, is it a back or a feature? I <laughs> <laughs> uh, to tell sometimes. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of happy that this, this that Astute Graphics made this to fix out some of those features that are on their way up. Yeah, that's 
cool from uh, from bug status but uh, <laughs> anyway back to this so what i'm going to do then is i'm going to select uh, my mustache right and mustache left so i'm going to use the uh, proxy region just here the bit that has absolutely no user interface on it at all to tell you that you can do that which yes. is bonkers i learned it from you quick hat change well the the pro i remember you learning the proxy region actually yeah it's good there you go, there you go. i hate, bro <laughs> hate product placement <laughs> So I'm going to select those two things. I think I'm actually going to group those together. Uh, and then I'm going to get rid of the redundant layer just there. I'm just going to call this one moustache just for now because I determined that what I want to do here is just going to have one moustache. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's have a look. We're going to try this with the gradients and see if these ones work. I'm going to create... Uh, the nose I'm definitely going to want just where it is. The eyes, I'm going to create a couple of layers above that. So just Command L, uh, Control L, of course, to do that, to create those two new layers. Although if you want to do it immediately above the layer you're working on, use the user interface, use the button and it does it. If you use the shortcut, it just creates them at the top. If you use the button, it does that. So I'm going to call this one uh, left eye. Now, because I work in character animator as well, and I don't want to mess my head up, this eye for me, this one here, is actually the left eye. Oh, okay. Because it's the character's left eye. Yes. That's that's why I do it like that. And in character animator, you have to do it that way. It has to, it has to go that way. So I'm just going to drag that up to the left eye just there. You can see that's now appeared. And I'll call this one right eye. You'll see also that I'm concatenating, joining together uh, their names there as well. So I'll go for this one now. And get into that pupil. Come here, you naughty pupil. Right, I'll get my. That's a nice pupil, actually. It's it's my favourite of the two. I'm going to go <laughs> ahead. I'm using my group selection tool to grab <laughs> that one, and I'm dragging that one up to my right eye. So I've now got those two things. So I'm going to actually lock those two uh, just for the moment. I'm going to lock the nose and the moustache. So I've got that, and that's just for safety. Now, I have had problems with gradients from. Uh, illustrator on the ipad in in preparing stuff for telegram mm -hmm. um and it tells me that sometimes that it can't do it but we'll just see if if, if we've managed to nail that because you, this is uh, telegram is using a specific data format right it is so it uses something called tgs which is a new format it's very very new fairly new but it is likely to become the format for stickers across all platforms because it is super super lightweight um it's code based format uh, and so when you use it uses it has to use a little bit of dark magic really to get it get this work across into there because the illustrator format bizarrely doesn't actually work properly with other mm -hmm. adobe products or one specific adobe product works beautifully with indesign works great with photoshop works really poorly with after effects uh, in in one in one regard if you still need a data available thing. So the eyes can stay as they are. I might have animated the eyebrows there, but I think I'm going to leave those uh, as they are for the moment. And I've got the sides of the, um, I'm trying to remember what the name of that thing is, the hat there. It's got a specific name. I can't remember what it is. The chat will tell me what the... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. And John's telling me that the, the, the nostril hey. is smaller than the pupil and the eye. And the pupil. Well, you know, at least it's not Maddie. That's realistic. <laughs> <laughs> one of the first things maddie said to me was i'll inhale you wow um, this, I think, is, this i think here now when i get this this is the blush on the cheek just mm -hmm. there this is showing as an illustrator gradient so we'll see how that one works but i have had a couple of problems with with gradients like that in there let's see what's in layer 15 i think there's nothing in layer 15 because i removed that so we'll get rid of that and you can kill them out too hmm the mouth can be gone too. Oh yeah, the mouth can be gone. Let's get rid of the mouth. There we go. We don't need that. Yeah, that looks nice enough. Uh, so that looks pretty good. I'm just going to hold down command and tap Y on my keyboard. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, no uh, extra bits here. I'm just having a quick look for it to be nice and clean. I've got three more things to pick out. What about that gradient on the pipe? That little reflection there. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it runs with that because mm -hmm, okay. what I would typically do. So let me just create these layers for the hearts here. So I've just created three uh, different layers there. So this one I'm just going to modify to heart one, just there. I'm going to prename this heart hooked 
<laughs> heart two, just there. And I'll go ahead with this one and heart three. There we go. So that's pretty good. And then I need to just separate these out. So this one here is going to be heart one. This one here is going to be heart two. So, so you select the heart and then you go over to the section that we that you talked about and just pull yeah, it up. The, the proxy region, yeah, and just cool. and just drag it up into that point because the it makes it. Region. How many in the chat have never heard of the proxy region before? I oh, know it's and it's, this is one of my da downfall things here, Julia. So I, as as you know from the times we've spoken before, I sometimes jump straight in with the engineering and sometimes pseudo engineering term <laughs> something and expect everybody to go, oh yes, the proxy region. I, yeah, of I, course. <laughs> I use the proxy region every, every all the time in every app. The only thing I really object to in 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 some things is when people call the selection tool the black arrow and the direct selection tool the white arrow because mm -hmm. if you ever need help with something it's not going to help you. you if you search illustrator black arrow then you've got to do another learning thing around finding that Google. yes that's right that's true and also the, the group selection tool has a white arrow yeah as well so if they're doing that yeah so. there's a lot of surprise in the chat store so i didn't know you could split it that way and caroline says i heard it from tony da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> right my mustache i think in the stack i can get away with bringing that right up underneath the nose uh without damaging it so what i'm what i don't want to do is this what i do yes. want to do is this but i also want it towards the top so what i'm trying to do now is i'm doing a little bit of optimization here so i'm just bringing the puppet down in the stack above the body ah oh, but it also needs to be above the beard uh just there so that gives me an indication. I'll keep the beard as a separate element. I'm just locking that off just for the minute. Uh, I will take the locks off. This is the frame around the outside on the bottom just there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the body and the face and the robe and that little bit on the background there, I think I could pretty much get away with selecting all of those things and grouping them, which will bring them all onto one layer like so have a what quick... did you what did you press there come on get g uh, command g mm -hmm. command g to group them together and so of course it, that brought them it all up to the, to the up to the uh, upper layer then that, that's it the top of the stack just mm -hmm. there because i'm not going to animate any of these other things just here so i might as well just make the file as efficient as possible okay and then that's pretty much uh ready to go so we'll come back to that and then or we'll well hopefully we'll see how it how it processes the gradients so yeah uh, what i'm going to do is leave that where it is i'm going to switch across to after effects just now okay and i'm going to show you uh, how i create a new comp just here so i actually already have if i do command n here control n i get the new composition settings here now you'll see that i've already created myself a preset just here called telegram Ooh, nice. animated stickers yeah and this has all of the things in it that i actually need in regards to the restraints around uh producing tele anim anim <laughs> animated telegrams um so if i went ahead and called this something i'm not going to actually execute this particular one and you'll see why in a moment okay uh, but width and height 512 pixels that mm -hmm. we can't exceed that boundary can't be any larger than that and it's always a good idea to steer just a tiny bit clear and and also when you make a sticker technically well not technically at all you have to also export one at 100 by 100 that way when you go into the sticker menu in telegram you get that's where the little previews go they're the 100 100 version they have yes. to have all the animation ah, all right okay yeah so square pixels no uh, anamorphic stuff or anything like that square pixels uh, frame rate you can choose between 30 and 60 mm -hmm. uh, but what you've got to make sure is is that your all of your stickers in your pack all of your animated stickers have exactly the same frame rate you can't mix them yeah and if you have a 30 second one that's in there with a 60 second frame rate or vice versa um pain <laughs> <laughs> not will not work as anticipated yeah. so i've chosen 30 uh, just there but it's amazing that this format is tight enough for you to be able to do 60 frames a second which of course gives you a lot more scope i mean we were going to with the naughty one right we were going to use a flash bulb as if um as if a photo was being taken and have the propeller suddenly stop <laughs> the flash and then carry on 
<laughs> from there. So you've got that just brief moment of that. Uh, also, the duration, three seconds. That's it. That's what you've got to work with, three seconds. No more, no less. Well, you can have less, but... <laughs> But they are. So I just basically set that field and type 300 into there. And that's how would it. you make that a template now? You already had a template, like a preset. Uh, well, once you've done that, all you need to do is come up to this region here. So just to the left of the trash can. Ah, OK. Yeah. You've got this small save format. So if I just went here to custom, for example, you could make it one now. All right. Cool. Click on that. Yeah. Give it a that's name. Great. And then you're done. No, it makes it nice and easy. <clears throat> John work. is asking, is the preset edit or is it already in After Effects? Yeah, um, Tony just did it for himself and set it up for himself. And just, but yeah, it's not, it's not, uh, not for everybody else. But that one's, that one's really, just really. Just make a screenshot right now, and you have all the information you need to make a Telegram animated sticker preset. Ta -da! Ta -da! Super good, right? I'm going to cancel that anyway. That that uh, information was very very useful. I'm just going to reset my workspace here to the save layout, just for the moment. This is where the Overlord comes in. Yes. Okay. So because they need to be efficient for Telegram, because remember this is a mobile messaging app primarily, you, you've got to make efficient graphics to animate them, and that means shapes, not images. It will reject. Mm -hmm images so anything rendered as an image no pixel go, no 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 yeah, it won't do it so they've got to be shapes now bizarrely when you bring illustrator layers into after effects they are actually images or they're treated as images in after effects mm -hmm. and you can use um so if i actually do that just for a minute actually let me just bring in um i'll bring in the naughty uh, version just here as a I think the, the, the problem might be that one gradient I have there has more than two dots so it's not just one to another color it has three dots is one of them uh, oh it's one of them um, a free form gradient no no what I mean it? If, depending on how we do for time I'll see okay. if I can rectify it if we get a yeah. problem but if we I just experimental it, right now I like that yeah so there we go. Here's the one naughty color. Now I haven't bothered to uh, actually change the artboard uh, size for this one. Okay, but you can see that just here and you can see all of the different layers. Now, while I have this column here, which will continually rasterize um, uh, vector objects, keeping their crispness, they're not actually being treated as vectors. They're being treated as an image. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if I turn that off and I made this larger, you would actually start to see uh, the effects of the pixels around the side there. So curious that it doesn't do that. And while you can get any layer here, if I just do this on one and come down to create and say create shapes from vector layer, yeah. Now it's actually done that from the outline thing just there, <laughs> right? But it will create a vector shape, but it's not the shape you want. And also yes. it robs it of all color. And then you'd yeah. have to go around and actually get into the properties and change you know, all you can see here that that's created a whole bunch of groups mm -hmm. uh, just there. So I'm going to back that out a little bit. I'm just going to undo that till I've got nothing in there. So fortunately, there's an extension. Forty-five dollars. I have it too. You have it too. I have. Overlord. Overlord is so. Hail awesome. Overlord. It's so good. Yeah. So window extensions Overlord. Of course, you need it. You won't find it in your own window menu. You need to buy it and install <laughs> it first. Uh, here, so if I go ahead and bring that up, yeah, then I have this panel like so, which for some reason is rendering a bit wonky, and one of my icons is off down here. I don't know what that's about. There we go. <laughs> Weird. Uh, and now I'm going to make some selections and push them to the uh, Overlord here. So it's time for me to unlock uh, these layers like so. Okay, then I need to make a selection. So basically, I'm going to select everything here. Let's just go ahead and select the whole thing. All right, and we've got a lot of anchor points around there still, and that could do with cleaning. Uh, and then I'm going to use this push selection to After Effects. And so this will push this across. It's like a tunnel between the two applications. It's really it cool. It is. Now, it does take it a moment or two uh, to actually do what it does. Let me just get the Overlord extension open just here in After Effects. So you get it for both. And this actually allows you to pull and push. Back and forth. You can adjust, and push it back. It's Absolutely. really nice. You don't have to save a file every time. You don't nope. have to update the, the footage. It's, it's really nice. It's worth its money. Do you know, that doesn't seem to have pushed anything, though, you know. 
Do you have a comp open or does it matter? Mm, no, it should create. Oh, uh, actually, I do need a comp. Nice. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. Oh. And that, it, it should actually warn you, you normally get little overlays in Overlord at the top that just say, yeah, no comp open, dude. No dope. And Karen says it needs a whoosh sound. Yeah, I agree. And Stuart says, so Here there is no file as a transfer link. That's cool. There it comes. Here it comes. Yeah. You can see some areas in there that need help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just at the moment. So I've gone a bit... Um, That's a shadow on the face. What's her name? What's her name? Uh, the um, Sleeping Beauty. Maleficent. Uh, I've got a bit of Maleficent. Oh yeah, I like that though. You see that? Would be better on. Would be better on the naughty sticker though. Got that thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> so flash. there we are. And now I like because it. I bought this in as a single, I have bought everything in here as a frame. So this one would be tricky to animate in the way that I bought it in. But you have a set of little options here okay that you can use so you can split the shapes out to different layers right that's just another control that it will do and we'll bring that in you can also center the transformation points uh in those different layers here as well and do it do a few different odds and ends just there so layers all at the comp center uh, you can switch to back to ai so if i wanted to go to ai there's my tunnel between the two mm -hmm. uh, just there you've also got an option here for guides as well in uh, illustrator which can be super useful if you have a grid in illustrator and you want it in after effects too yeah uh, to this one as well matching the artboard mm -hmm from the comp just there, okay, and to switch to AE, so you can go back between the two and to break uh, the link between symbols. So if I go back here, what I'm going to do is just simply undo uh, that operation. And I'm gonna make sure that when I send it, okay, I'm going to split the shapes out onto layers. So just make that active. That should be active, right? Yeah, there we go. You can see it highlights mm -hmm. just there. So let's go ahead and push that out now it means i'm going to get a whole stack of different there shapes go. something it on has, yeah. eye there from that's curious what happened there that's weird it's been a, been a bit of weird drift uh, just there but anyway they're here i popped out <laughs> <laughs> no, eyes popped out but you know i'm gonna go with it anyway i'm just how long have we got we've got about three minutes of natural time left of course we can have a little bit more can't we Tim? you can ask for the bonus today yes bonus bonus time perfect so uh, let's go ahead and find um you can see it's actually separated all of these different things out so really this would be a pupil uh just there oh and i don't oh. think i separated this one out did i sorry I don't think I separated this one out. I'm just going to see if I can get into that one. No, it's part of the background at the minute. I didn't do a pupil for the for the, for the Dolores mm -hmm. just there. Anyway, not to worry too much just at the minute. You can get an idea, right, of how yeah. uh, of how much uh, fun that this is to do. So I'm going to actually select both Lord of them. It has actually a cool name for Dolores, Popeye. <laughs> see what you did there you know actually i think I'm, i'll have more fun if i do the mustache which i put above so i'm going to get the mustache just there that transformation point is actually fine where it is so i'm going to tap r here for the rotation okay i'm going to enable that for keyframing i'm actually going to what i tend to do is just shoot right to the end and add another keyframe. So it's a loop. The other can, yeah, it's got to loop. That's the thing. It's absolutely got to loop. Super it smart. On if you if you miss that and you don't have that uh, done, you can just copy the first keyframe and put it at the end. You can absolutely. Uh, and so what I think I'm going to do here is just give a little bit of rotation to the yeah, left, make it wiggle to the right, and then a little bit over to the uh, to the left. <laughs> there like so we can just play that out so if i go here and go like that you can see I've got this nice little wiggle going on and it goes back to that place now for time because i'm not going to get a chance to make the eyes appear i'll show you where the next part of this is so i'm just going to actually go ahead and move the overlord over here at the moment i'm going to go to the window menu and to my extensions and i've got body moving for telegram stickers so body moving is uh, something that I think uses Lottie, uh, yes. the Lottie animation. Lottie files. 
And that's it. And uh, I believe yeah. that Airbnb actually developed a lot of files. Is that true? Did they? I don't know. I, don't I actually don't know that one. Uh, that would be a good thing to find out. But I mean, if you actually use the full body moving, then you've got a whole load of different categories in there. This is really nice and efficient in so many ways uh, because it's just pared down to just what you need, which I really, really like yes. uh, that. So how you operate it is you uh, choose your comp that you want to work with. You've also got a little search field here. And then you come across to this ellipsis like so, and you click on that. Okay, then you need to give it a name and a destination to go to. So I'm just going to go out to my home folder here. Okay, I'm just going to drop this into here and I'm going to call this one uh, nice. Tony, there like so. Okay, ideally no spaces in the file name as well. That's another mm -hmm. okay. thing there because otherwise you end up with nice percent two zero next word uh, for next. Percent two zero is the short code for uh, a space or a regular space at any rate. I'm going to do save, that's fine. Then you hit render. And this is where you find out if you've got to go back into Illustrator and do some work with the gradients. It's the back and forth, yeah. Let's see if yeah. it works. Yep, yeah. so let's Fingers give it crossed. a go. Absolutely. Ooh, that's pretty good. And yeah. I can tell you why it's pretty good because yes. it looks like it's worked. Just Finished! Mm -mm -mm. Boom, right. So what does that file look like? Well, prepare to be underwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you work in the matrix, this won't be Unless you won't do matrix, anything for yeah. you. It's what a TGS file looks like. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like that. But to show you what it really looks like, okay, I'm just going to open this up with text edit uh, just here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you'll see this is what it looks yes. like. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So where you would go from here is you'd rinse and repeat all of the different processes uh, for your stickers. You would then actually go to Telegram itself. So I've got Telegram running just over here with a message from Tim that I'm not going to show um, mm -hmm. because it's probably funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably funny like, do you know your moustache is wonky? <laughs> um, and then you go ahead and this is how you start the process. So what I would do here is I would do slash you new have to, animated. You have to get into a conversation with the sticker bot. You do actually have to start talking to it. So I've actually got the, the bot suspended just here. And I'm not going to run one uh, live anyway just at the moment. Uh, but you would restart it. Yeah, and then you go ahead here and you do new animated. And you have to keep the concatenation joining together. Uh, uh, and the casing, so you can see I've actually put an A, an uppercase A in there, so that would not work. Oh, wow, okay. Just there. It has to be exactly the way it's written up there. And you could always copy paste. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you don't do what I do there. And so I've got a trailing space. You need just the new animated, okay? And then you do that, okay? And it says, yay, you're going to create a new pack of animated yay. stickers. Right. If you're new to animate stickers, see these guidelines before you start. If you've got, you know, there are other places to find the guidelines. Woefully thin on the ground, by the way, with tutorial stuff, which is why I'm going to do this on my YouTube channel. I'm going to going to perfect a set and then just throw this. We could team up. We could do a team. Yes. We could do a team thing on my channel. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Right. Yeah. And so you, then you need to know the name of your pack. So if I call it... Um, uh, let's just call it TDN1, so, so for the Design Ninja 1, just there, and do that. Oh, All right. right, now send me the animated sticker, right? Da, da, da. It tells you it should be in the TGS format. Okay, so then I'd attach um, my file here. So if I go ahead and say, let's go to my Movies folder, and let's go into Telegram stickers, and let's do nice Tony TGS. Exciting, there it is. And there you go. I can see it's I've got wiggling. a couple of errors to work on there, but if I go ahead and paste it... It messed up the gradients, actually. It, it, yeah, that's the problem, and mm -hmm. that's the thing. But you, you kind of have to work on that. But you what you have to keep in mind here as well is that the amount of actual After Effects features that it supports is woefully yeah. thin, right? It doesn't support um, wiggle or any expressions. Yeah, 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 masks it doesn't support. Um, it doesn't support layer styles, lots and lots of other things. There's a full list. Images, yes. Yeah, images it doesn't support on that. Um, but you can see I've got work to do here, but that's fine because what I could do with this sticker is, is go ahead. That Some of the gradient stuff has been preserved, so I just need to analyze 
what I think is going wrong there and repair yes. uh, from that. But then what I'd need to do is send the emoji that's going along with this. So let's just say it's, I don't know. Let's, uh, the thumbs uh, up. The thumbs up? Okay, yeah, thumbs nice. Up. Let's do thumbs up. Yeah, there we go. So we'll do that. We'll do thumbs up. I'll get rid of that just there and do that. Stickers in pack one. So there you go. And then you send the next sticker and so on and so on. And when you're ready, you should do slash publish. And it's available for the world. Isn't that awesome? Like Design Ninja stickers will be at when, Julia, do you think? <laughs> well, Carolyn says, post the finished one on Discord, please. So, yeah. I think so. That would be really good. And there we are. That's awesome. I think it's a really nice thing to do to make your own stickers. And, and it's, you can see it was easy. It's not that complicated, yes. actually. And, and you, you could... could do graphics. You, if and you, you don't have graphics, right. You don't have to animate it. We could have yeah. been done like oh, 30 minutes ago. We could have yeah. said that's it. There's the sticker, and it doesn't have to be animated. So that it's easy. Just use your uh, your beautiful animations, uh, your your beautiful graphics. It's easy. They are, and they are too. So much. Uh, these are going to be my profile pictures for at least the next yeah. year. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Boom. Says story. There we go. So good. You've got to do one of all, we should do a sticker pack of all of the Adobe Live hosts. Right, that would be so cool. And the flugelhorn. And the flugelhorn. I'll draw the flugelhorn. <laughs> <laughs> They're fantastic. We should all draw each other and turn them into stickers. That'd be great. Yeah, we put put every name on a little uh, node and everybody has to pull one out. And... Yeah, that would be really good. Many styles, many stickers of the whole Adobe crew. Yes. But for now, though, I think we're done, my friend. I yeah, Angus are. says, so great. Thanks, everyone. So it says, back to painting the hallway, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and Stuart's going back to painting the hallway. That's what I do. Rocking it. He was, he was doing some wiring. I've been watching his, Stuart's stuff on Instagram. He's been doing some wiring stuff and all, and all sorts of things. Anyway, that's all good. But for now, everybody, it just remains to me and Julia to wish you all the best for a happy, happy, happy and creative weekend. Yes working on your stickers it's been great having you here and i'm, I'm saying that to you and the audience oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> and i'll see you in uh, i'll see you in about 53 minutes in the meeting well yes <laughs> that's a busy day <laughs> see you later bye everyone there's bye, a good everybody. schedule coming up and you can catch that now see you later bye thanks for watching bye